my longtime fishing buddy Jonathan Ryan today and we've returned to the Mississippi River Golf Outlet where I caught a limit of fish with Justin Bowles just a few days ago. Jonathan came back in between that trip and this trip, also had great success. So we're going to start this morning throwing jerk baits on the rocks. That's the thing to do here early. And if we can't get any fish that way, we're going to attempt to jig them. But water temps are up a little bit today. 58, 59 degrees. That's kind of the borderline for fishing in here. So it may not happen. We may have to scoot into the marsh and go target bass and reds. But either way, we've got a good hard falling tide. Water's beautiful. We definitely have some factors in our favor. I'm going to throw this echo to start. It's gold, which I don't really like for trout. But man, just... This bait's just, this bait's just so good. I caught a bunch of trout on it last week. Oh, really? Yeah. What was the biggest trout y'all caught last time out here? Uh, that one Justin caught, it was, we didn't weigh it, but it's probably about four and a half. Okay. It was big. Did you see the picture of it? Yeah. It's big. Yeah, it's big. Oh, yeah, baby. Dude, look at the boats. Yeah, look at the boats. Yeah. Fish, like deep. Yeah, you don't run anybody. You don't run anybody. Uh -uh. Yeah, much more peaceful. Couldn't stand it, huh? Well, this is this is where we caught all our trout, right? Right in here. So I just gotta just gotta check. Oh, dude, I got smoked. Right. Absolutely drilled. You're getting smoked. I want to get smoked. <laughs> I don't know how I miss that fish. It must have been a, a baby. There he is. There he is. There he is. There he is. All right. Oh, good trout. Good trout. I got to whisper because there's so many people. Got to whisper so you don't have a crowd on you. Holy Jolie Matrix Shad, a peeing speckled trout. Look, he's peeing. Bloody. You got the Holy Jolie? Great. I'm gonna join you. Good. Hope you do. This episode of Marshman Masson brought to you by Puglia Sporting Goods. Oh, we abandoned jerkbait fishing pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I use what works. If it was colder, I, I would hold to it a little longer. Oh, there's a fish. There's a fish. All right. All right. A good eater. 14 inches, maybe. Maybe just 13. But big enough. It's supposed to warm up today. What's uh, you know, the highest? Day? Like 70. Be a nice day. I mean, it's gonna be hot, but it'll be nice. Slow yeah, I'm just picking it up, putting it down. There he is. You got one? No. no. You can't shake it, dude, can you? You're trying, but you can't. You can't shake it. Yeah, I think you should. I mean, I wouldn't do it quickly, but you know, just kind of slowly, slowly jog that way. That was such a subtle hit. There he is. There he is. All right. Yep. Yeah, that was a good fish. Chunky monkey. All right. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> Speckle trout. This is amazing. Oh, come on. It. Yeah, he hit it again. Oh, that's awesome. So he missed it again. Were you just a little baby? 
for little baby. We only caught like three or four throwbacks the other day. Oh, I caught a bunch of small ones. Did you? Yeah, I think I had probably 12 throwbacks mm. alone. I mean, I was catching. Catching fish, just some yeah. small ones. Yeah. Fish on. Got him. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Come on. Buddy. Come up and shake. There you go. There you go. Got a tree shake. Come on up. All right. Oh. Hey, See you. Go. Bye. <laughs> 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 that fish is like, what in the hell just happened? <laughs> Come on, fish. Show us something. We'll go hit the... At some point, I want to go try it. Um, there's a ledge that I found on that side of the rock. All right. And, uh, on the other side of the channel? Yeah throw out see what we got here. Yeah, was pretty, that was the most steady action we had the whole time. There that's he is. Oh, that's a... Get him Jonathan. He hasn't come up yet. Might be a nice fish. Oh yeah. Let's try and keep him in the boat. Yeah it's a good trout. No, a, oh it's a red, red fish. <laughs> come on dude. <laughs> okay. What's why do I always catch the red fish? <laughs> He's a skinny red fish too. Yeah. He's hungry. He may not make the winter. May not survive. Caught it on the way down. He didn't even get to the bottom and he hit it. Yeah. Oh, Todd. I still got him. My hand slipped off my reel. Yeah. <laughs> no, he was out. Come on, come on back. You know you want it. You know you want it. But you're a good girl. Like with an 18 in? Is it fun as a big girl? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd take, an, I'd take an 18 inch with today. But, you know, the reality is we're, we're trying to catch fish to eat today, so you really want to catch the 12 and a half, 12 and a half inchers. You know, with these big 14 inchers. <laughs> <laughs> the big girls. You don't want those today. Uh-uh. <laughs> Justin and I, we fished three days last week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Oh, wow. Monday we did this. Tuesday we fished in the afternoon in the marsh. Caught a dozen bass, two reds. Okay. And then... Yeah, uh, bass are all stacked. I caught a bunch of them last time I went. Yeah. And we spent the night on the Chandelier Islander, which they keep in the Biloxi Marsh this time of year. Oh, really? Yeah. So we... On the... Right before dark, like we had like maybe 45 minutes to fish, we, uh, we you know, we, we went across Bourne and we, we stopped in a, in a lake in the Biloxi Marsh and just waylaid the, the trout. And so we ran out of daylight. We didn't catch a limit. We ran out of daylight before we could and then uh, slept and got up the next morning, went to a different area of the same lake and caught 50 by 740. Like three incredible days of fishing. That's fantastic. Yeah. Boys and little. That's what she said. Yep. But he is not one. Oh, look at that. Yep, hit me on the way in. He hit me literally like three feet from the boat. This episode of Marshman Masson brought to you by H&H &H Lore Company and by Bill Lewis and by Cito New Orleans and by Versamax Courts and by Sportsman's Outfitters. When's the last time you went sight fishing? Been a while? Uh, no, I went, I went uh, off of a bayou over here. But they were spooked. Oh, they were? I, I was able to sight cast one. Everything else was just fast. Yeah, there he there is. You go. There he is. There he goes. Finally, a little dry run. Dude, can't come up yet. Uh-uh. There he is. Uh, He's not that big. 
I mean, it's not bad, but just didn't want to come to the surface. A little shy guy with a flyby. Uh-oh, somebody's be retying. You want a death grip? I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I really think these jig heads are a major difference. Right. It's all you're gonna fish. Get him, Jonathan. You know what the difference is, right? You know what the difference is? Could be, dude. I'm telling you, it is. It's the death grip jig head. If I catch another one, then it's really It's true. the death grip jig head. I don't know if it's the shape or what it is. I don't know. They're just better. And the hooks are phenomenal. I mean, the hooks are incredible. Like, you don't miss fish. Well, they're just super sharp. There we go. Death grip, baby. Death grip, baby. Right into the sun. Bad for video. Good for the Thanksgiving menu. Nice job. Nice job. Everybody's, somebody's, somebody's yeah, you know it. Right. Right. It's incredible. Yep. There we go. It's about to be one fewer along this wall. Woo -hoo. Good job, Todd. Stay there. Fish on, fish on. And of course, you caught him toward the rocks. You just don't know. No, no idea where to cast. Oh yeah, buddy. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. All right. All right, Jonathan and I made a move to get away from the crowds. There's like 500 boats out today. We've come to this stretch that has uh, no boats on it. We're gonna see what we can find here. Plus our action was kind of spotty. We caught Caught a good number of fish, but it was just so random. And they weren't grouped up at all. So we're hoping to find a little bit faster action. Come on. Come on, Jonathan. All right. Well, definite keeper. Definite keeper. All right. Oh, shoot. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I mean, it makes you wonder, like, how many ledges like this are around here oh, that nobody ever fishes? Exactly. Nobody Just knows about them. Checking the sonar and finding them. Get your little hidden treasures. That's a fish. There's a fish. Nice keeper trout. Shake them gills. All right. A little hidden honey hole. Nice. Man, what a beautiful day today. Very, very little wind and a hard falling tide throughout the day. Fishing with a good friend just does not get any better. But if every day was this nice, there'd be no fish left in our waters. I mean, heck, it's a Monday, and there was just tons of boats fishing the MRGO. We were just one in the crowd. But we put a good box together, also caught a few bass, not many, just a couple. Didn't focus on that very long. Those trout kept calling our name. Well, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the Marshman Masson channel on YouTube. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. And until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh, we'll see you right here on Marshman Masson.